macro question. The run-up from November 2020 to around December 2021 in SPY was quite straight with few pullbacks. Would you consider this then to be part of a broadening formation on a yearly or multiple time frame? Uh, also, for broadening formation, do you find there's a certain number of higher high, lower lows before the formation gets broken up or either down? So, going back to SPY, we knew so long as this baby's going, we had this. <laughs> we knew about this, right? And then once it goes up and tests those highs, comes back in, but gives us another signal. The 312, now it's going to break out, right? And if and as long as it stays out of that thing, then you got your continuation working. So um, we knew about that. <laughs> That's one of the great things about recording everything that you say. Um, so, yes, multi-year time frame, big. And on the quarterly here, we got the 312. Here, let me pull up. Since everybody's on the macro, let me get my TC2000 up to show it to you. If you're an if and ye new, may as well. That's what we're here for, right? So in here, we knew about this too. If you go back to watch the macro vid, and you go to spy and you go to quarterly, oh yeah, the 312. Did we know about that? You bet we did. And it was everybody. <laughs> it was everybody. Is that going to fail? No way. All right? And so here, once again, outside bars are broadening formation on the longer time frame. Right, there was your big puking outside quarter. Then, boom, new quarter right here. So you had continuity changing right here, which set this baby up. So we already knew about it down here. And then, boom, off to the races. And that was a simultaneous break. How about QQQ? A little stronger, right? That was 3 2. All right, diamonds. Oh, yeah. The 312 Chi Town Hustle. All right, so now it's a little bit different of a story up in here. Spies right on the corner, still inside. All right, so because we know now, as you've seen, like I said, Mark, things will change. We are red on the year, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know, we're red on the year and the corner. All right, so all the by the dippers who kept getting pounded, they don't know that. All right. And that's why if you stay like on VRTX here, hammer, counter, shooter, and our magnitude's still up there, that's good, All right? XLE, still 212, they just kind of blew all these guys out, see? So it hit some short-term exhaustion risk by blowing out all these guys out, All right? Now the question is climbing that wall, that's all. So now she's just cooling off a little bit. And if we can get that thing back green up above these guys, it's off to the races again. Go after this and that. Uh, remember, these are yearly charts, and that's where the real patience comes in. Um, for broadening formations, is there a certain number of higher highs and lower lows? No. It can chop up, and then it can go inside, kind of, you know, like, like when you have this quarterly. Here, right? We know that's a broadening formation because it's outside bar. Right? The question is, how do you get out of that? So it's not a matter of higher highs or lower lows. It's, are you coming back through a previous range? That's something you want to know about. Right?